Hello students. In this video, we will explore the fascinating life processes of nutrition and respiration. These processes are essential for sustaining life, ensuring that all organisms, from the simplest bacteria to complex human beings, can grow, maintain themselves, and produce energy. Let's begin with nutrition. Nutrition is the process by which organisms obtain the necessary materials and energy to support their life functions. Depending on how they acquire food, organisms can be classified as either autotrophic or heterotrophic. Autotrophic organisms, such as plants and certain bacteria, have the remarkable ability to produce their own food. They use simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water, along with sunlight, to synthesize food through a process known as photosynthesis. This process occurs in specialized structures called chloroplasts, where the pigment chlorophyll captures sunlight. The energy from the sunlight is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a type of sugar that serves as the plant's primary energy source. Oxygen, a byproduct of this process, is released into the atmosphere, playing a critical role in maintaining life on Earth. On the other hand, heterotrophic organisms, including animals and fungi, cannot make their own food. They rely on consuming other organisms or organic matter. These organisms may eat plants, animals, or decomposing material to obtain the nutrients they need. In the animal kingdom, the process of digestion breaks down complex food molecules into simpler substances that can be absorbed and utilized by the body. This digestive process occurs in various specialized organs within the digestive system. After digestion, the nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to different cells, where they are used for growth, repair, and energy production. After discussing nutrition, we now move on to respiration, another vital life process. Respiration is how organisms release energy from the food they have consumed. This energy is crucial for all activities, from cellular functions to physical movements. The process of respiration primarily involves the breakdown of glucose molecules, which release energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of cells. Respiration in plants is somewhat different from that in animals. Plants also require energy, which they obtain through cellular respiration. Although they produce oxygen during photosynthesis, plants still need to respire, especially at night when photosynthesis ceases. Oxygen is taken in through tiny openings called stomata in leaves, and the oxygen is used to break down glucose to release energy. The carbon dioxide produced as a waste product is then released back into the atmosphere through the same stomata. In animals, the process of respiration is more complex and involves specialized organs, such as lungs in mammals. When we breathe in, air enters through the nasal cavity or mouth, travels down the trachea, and reaches the lungs. The lungs contain tiny air sacs called alveoli, where the actual exchange of gases occurs. Oxygen from the inhaled air diffuses into the bloodstream, while carbon dioxide, a waste product of respiration, diffuses out of the blood and is exhaled. Respiration can occur in two main forms, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen and is the most efficient way for organisms to generate energy. During this process, glucose is completely broken down into carbon dioxide and water, producing a significant amount of ATP. This is the predominant form of respiration in humans and other animals. However, in situations where oxygen is scarce, some organisms or cells can undergo anaerobic respiration. This type of respiration does not require oxygen and results in the partial breakdown of glucose. While it produces less energy than aerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration is crucial in certain conditions, such as in muscle cells during intense exercise. The byproducts of anaerobic respiration can vary, with lactic acid being produced in animals and ethanol in certain microorganisms like yeast. 
Understanding these processes of nutrition and respiration is essential to grasp how life sustains itself, grows, and continues through generations. Nutrition provides the necessary raw materials, and respiration converts these materials into usable energy, keeping organisms alive and functioning. Now, here's a question for you to test your knowledge. What is the cellular organelle where respiration occurs? Please share your answer in the comments. The complete curriculum for Class 10 is available on our channel. Check out all the links provided in the description below. Please make sure to like, share, and comment for more such videos.